Hello everybody, this is a Lamley unboxing part two of our Mega Tomica Limited Vintage Tomica Rama and Diacoli 64 videos. Part one was of the June release, the first Diacoli 64 set which had the Mitsubishi Pinjero in it. Um, now we're going with the second set and I've also added two Tomica Ramas. In the last one we did the mini parking lot. And this time now we have the new, uh, came out a few months ago, but I haven't opened them yet. And you guys have been clamoring for me to do it. So we're going to do it. The new uh, Tomic Rama, the vintage Yokohama uh, tire shop set, which is, I can't wait to open it. So we're going to go ahead and do it. So let's get the cars out of the way. We'll open them up first. This is the July mix. We'll open them up afterwards. Uh, in fact, you can see that we have four of the larger, they're not larger scale, but larger vehicles. We have the Mazda E2000, two of those, the two garbage trucks, um, which I'm very excited to open, as well as the Toyota Hi Ace. Hope I'm saying that right, Wagon, the Super Custom, two of those, both new castings. Uh, maybe not the, uh, maybe this is a new version of the, uh, of the Mazda. I think the Mazda's been out before, but those vans are cool. Plus we have one Civic to match the Civic that is inside of the Diacoli set. So we're going to put that off to the side. You can see there is the setup from the last one. Diacoli said still, they're out camping still. So they're enjoying the, uh, the two Mitsubishis and, uh, and that's it. But we're going to open this up first. I have no long, had no idea how long it's going to take. Tomika Ramas, like I said, you want to buy them when they first come out. Japan Booster has them. They are the ones who sent all of this stuff uh, to me. And uh, they're a Lamley partner and they're a great place. You can uh, get free shipping. Uh, with certain amount of purchases right now it's a little different they're using dhl instead of japan post because of covid 19 but it's still totally worth it especially if you're buying sets like this which can be a little bit more expensive yokohama vintage yokohama as you can tell I, a lot of the other details you can see there's the uh there's the pieces a lot of the smaller pieces we probably won't put together uh we're just going to keep it as simple as possible so i'm not losing things um, but uh, let's just see what we've got inside Okay, there's the instructions. I might try and keep it sealed if I can. We're gonna, like I said, we're only gonna go with the simplest of pieces, but I'll leave that here for my reference. And look how beautifully packed these always are. It's almost like you don't even wanna open them because you're never gonna be able to put it back together the same way, but that's not what we're here to do is to admire some white cardboard, right? These things just open up beautifully and you can see all the cool pieces that we'll start taking out. So, start removing some cardboard. Got the base pieces right here. Obviously the very cool Yokohama portion of it, the building, Put that off to the side. More cardboard. Okay. Okay, this is awesome, all right. So, looks like here we've got, we'll find out what all these pieces are for. Obviously they're attached. We'll figure out if we're going to open those up. Base pieces for sure we're going to open up. This is the easiest portion. Well, one of the easiest. You can see two pieces. Done. All right. So if we take off this roof, you can see that they've added a bunch of other things in here. And so we'll, let's just see what we, oh my gosh. All right, so we have, like I said, I may not open all of this. We have a desk. We have, a, well, that's like a, this would be like the front desk, right? And we have um, some equipment, air pump it looks like lifter some cabinets or some shelving and then a small desk like maybe the back office desk with a chair then in here oh we have a dude we might have to get him out some tanks is that a it's a table of some sort and then like some little spigots typically these little spigots and stuff you have to kind of balance yourself but they are kind of cool got more stuff in here too Oh, a bunch of spare tires. 
That's awesome. Some with hubcaps, some without. Looks like they just took the wheels off of some of their models. That's really cool. And then uh, more signage. So the Yokohama, that would be the street sign, and then this would be the just probably what? Let's see, where do they put that? Just off to the side here. So awesome. And then over here, we have the lift. And it looks like it functions. So that we need to open, right? So we'll get to that. We'll definitely make sure we open that up. We can go ahead. So you can put the furniture in there. We're not going to do it. It'd be hard to notice here. So we're going to put the lid. To get that right. Make sure it's on correctly. There we go. We're going to put that in the middle. Okay, that is set up, that's easy enough. We can put this in right here. And of course we need the signage. There we are. Yokohama Tire Shop. So we can do some, maybe we'll do, why not, right? While we're here. Let's have a look at this lift as well. So, let's see. Yep, you can. And then you can rotate this portion as well. And I'm assume it's going to hold. Obviously you wanna put it in there, you can, but uh, we'll leave it outside for now. And I'm assuming if you wanted to service a Ferrari you can service a Ferrari so that's pretty cool so I like that we can service car for sure all right now that we have the set let's go ahead and add the cars we will start there are six models one of which is in this Diacoli set so we'll get to that one last, but let's start with this LV-186A and B Mazda E2000 garbage truck. There are now more Tomica Limited Vintage Neo cars than there are Tomica Limited Vintage, Neo being I think 1980 and more recent. But uh, these are brand new, that's why it's the 186 while the new numbers in the Neo are at 208. So this, hopefully that makes sense. Let's go ahead and take a look at these garbage trucks. This is the B version actually of the what is it again? The E2000. Oh, this is fantastic. Let's go ahead and get the turntable going. And you can see, I don't know if this has any opening parts, but remember, everything is to scale. So this is a kind of a miniature, yeah, no opening back, miniature garbage truck, you know, neighborhood style garbage truck in Japan. In gray, while you're taking a look at that one, I'll go ahead and open up the other one, which is in, which has a little bit, which has a logo on it, right? Maybe a city logo of some sort. You can see all the detailing. It's always worth looking at the bottom of these. You can see that they've, that they detail those pretty heavy as well. Got to get that garbage truck. Got to get those serviced. So we'll go ahead and park one right here. Here is the other one. So the cab is metal, fully detailed. The back is plastic. I don't mind that at all. I don't know if anybody does, to be honest, with the Tomic Limited Vintage. It's, they'll never do it just because they're trying to skimp on something. It's just that maybe the plastic works better um, in terms of the kind of aesthetic and the look that they're trying to create with these. So this one has a very cool front grill. These vintage trucks are awesome. So let's go ahead and add that one as well. I want to get those serviced. All right, I'm really excited to look at these vans. Like I said, 208A and B, these are the most recent castings from Tomica Limited Vintage. Toyota High Ace Wagon 2.4 Super Custom Limited. That's the A, and this is just the Super Custom, the B. So let's go ahead and open up the A. 
These boxes are a little bigger than the standard, as you can tell, just so you see that. That's because the models are a little bit bigger because everything, as I harp on a lot, I know with Tomic Limited Vintage, everything is done to scale. Oh, this is great. I have no idea what year these vans are from. Obviously, 1980 and forward. But check this out. I say it in every Tomic Limited Vintage video as well. Like, oh, we always go for the... Um, we always get excited about the Ferraris and some of the other more like kind of like classic JDM that we've seen from other brands like Hot Wheels and Mini GT and um, some of these other cool brands. But uh, Tarmac works. But it's it's the street cars that really makes Tomic a Limited Vintage the brand that it is. And this van is fantastic. You can see all the details through the top too. I'll go ahead and open up the B version. That one's the limited custom. This one is just the, uh, no, super custom limited. This one is just the super custom. And I don't know which color I like better. I think I like that cream white, but this one's pretty awesome too. Kind of a maroon color. We're going to get that first van serviced. Put it up on the arms first. Just a couple of more models. Everyone loves Honda Civic. This is the 25 XT. It's going to have the right hand drive in that appears to be black. Let's open it up. Like I said, because they release everything in twos, this is the other one. And it's going to come in red. I think these are going to be the same model. I don't know if it says here, but uh, we'll get to that in just a second. Let's open this one up. The Civics are super popular among the TLV collector crowd, and that's not a surprise at all. Okay, this one looks awesome. Looking good in black. No idea if this one like has an up, is an upgraded trim or not. The 25 XT in Japan, you guys could tell me. But we have a black Civic. I'll have to add those to the others of that. I mean, there's a ton of Civics, different generations. Let's look at this one. Diacoli 64. Second setup. We did the first one, which is the camp. The campsite setup with the Mitsubishi Pajero. I think there's another Civic set coming out later on this year. But you can take a look at the packaging here. You can see there's all these little pieces. This one more seems to be like an outside in front of the house kind of thing. And this is what they want. Tomica, Tomica Tech, Tomi Tech Mini Car. Get ahead of myself here. They want you to set up your diorama, take a picture, tag them, and they might share it themselves. Which is would be very, very cool. But really, really cool set. Let's go ahead and open it up. All right, everybody kind of flew around, including our little cat. We had a dog in the last set. We got a cat in this one. All right, we'll have a look first at the car itself. Just the same version as the black, only this time in red. And it looks like this car needs to get washed, so that's what we're going to do. It looks like there's a, a dad and two kids. Whether or not the kids are going to help, we're going to have to find out. Okay, car's ready to go. Now we need the crew that's going to clean it. Okay, how about this setup? This is great. Such a, they tell such a little family story, too. You just kind of know who's a helper in the family and who's not. But, yeah, you know, dad, I assume that's dad working on You know, this could be like, this could be big brother, too. He's got his new Honda Civic. He's super excited. He's got some plans for this thing. He's and he's proud of it, so he's giving it a nice good cleaning. Sis comes out and says, I'm gonna help. So good for sis to come and help. Let's just run with that. Let's dad, mom, they're out of they're out of the picture on this one. This is this is uh this is oldest brother with his Honda Civic. And that's a cool car if you're the older brother. I mean, this this kid lucked out with this car and it's pretty clean, right? But he has plans. He's gonna slam this thing. 
I mean, just we just know it. But he's got to keep it all clean up right now because he got it so so good. And Dad says, you know, you should probably keep it at the, at the stance you have it. It's such a great car. He's like, no, no, no. No, this thing is going down. It is getting slammed. But we got to make it pretty for now. Sister's helping. He's got his little sink set up. He's got his bucket. He's making this thing pretty. But then there's the two that just really kind of screw up everything. Of course, there's the cat who's just sitting on it. And he just whacks that uh, that port top portion of the car. And now the cat's just saying it's nice and cool and in the shade. So that's kind of nice. And then, of course, little brother. He's just, uh, he, he can't wait to have a ride in the car. But uh, he's not going to help, of course. He's got his own bike. He's got his own set of wheels that he's really proud of. So uh, he's got that all set up nicely. And he's not helping at all. But uh, Sis is going to get the first ride in the car, right, for sure. Brother, he's not. And, and he's, brother's already planning on getting this car from his, brother, from his older brother once that time comes. How cool is that? That's a nice setup. I really like these Dacoli 64s. It's a nice new dimension to Tomica Limited Vintage. We'll have to see what kind of setups they do later on. But two dioramas, two Diacoli sets that were really fun to set up. And, of course, some fantastic, fantastic models. Here, Mom and Dad, they left. They left in the van. You guys tell me what you think. This was a really fun way to spend my Sunday afternoon. I have no idea when I'm posting these, but that, that's when I'm filming these. And I've had a great time. But I have quite the mess to clean up. Guys, this was fun. You guys tell me what you think. Available at Japan Booster. Bye.